Hello YouTube, today another video and today I'm going to talk about my upcoming update and the status of this channel and of course my configuration. I have been silent lately, a bit absent uh, because I caught a nasty flu and uh, in the first week I had a lot of server problems so I had to fix that first and get better. But I'm back and I will be uploading a lot of videos in the upcoming weeks and thank you for supporting me once again i've reached over a hundred subscribers so this means that i will have to make a video about my smart home because i promised that and if i promise something i will deliver it unfortunately i do not have something yet and there's way too much to show in a single video so i will be splitting it up in multiple videos so Keep watching my channel because you will find a lot of videos and I will also post a lot of new tutorials showing and teaching you how I use stuff and how I do things, how I add configurations and all of that good stuff will be soon on my channel. At the same time, I will show you a quick preview of HomeKit Infused 0.13. I'm really sorry, I really wanted to bring this update this week, but there are a lot of things that I'm not happy with yet. So I will postpone it to next week, but I'm going to show you a short preview of what's to come in this video right now. So here's the preview of 0.13.0. I'll go through it very quickly. I will get into more details when I release it. But for now, a quick sneak peek. Let's go. So first of all, you'll find the new gradient colors of the buttons. It is really subtle but it's there. There are new notification badges which will show you how many lights or devices are currently on. And if you hold that button, it will show you which lights are on. You can turn them off from this panel as well. There is a new widgets page on the left side. It will show you an air quality card, a garbage collection card and a Xiaomi vacuum card. There is a new printer pop-up, which will show you the ink levels. I'm sorry I can't show you mine right now, but it is working, so don't worry about that. There is a new vacuum Valtudo map. It will show you a live map of where your vacuum has been. Remember, you will need to route your vacuum to do this. I will post a video on how to do this in the future. And there are so many things I cannot show you in this video because they are related to CSS. But one of those things I can show you and that is the new theme selector. It will allow you to change the border radius with a click of a button. So for example, if you want to have squared buttons, you set this to zero pixels and all your buttons will be squared instantly. If you wanted rounded corners, you can press one of these and as you can see, the buttons are now rounded. Also, I've added a new team. This is a testing team only, but it works and it looks kind of okay. And last but not least, the new dynamic icons, which change depending on the state. For example, here it's clear as you can see here, it has a different icon than the one which is detected. It also is true for battery icons and it will change dynamically. Notice that also the color is dynamic now. It is green when it's full and it will turn red when it's almost empty. So that's it for update 0.13.0. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, put a thumbs up. If you don't like it, well, then you put a thumbs down. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time.